this. <coughs> oh god. I don't have Corona. I promise. I just got a tickly cop. <laughs> That's a funny stuff. Get my world. It was nice knowing ye. <laughs> And hello. Greetings from Minecraft from ESO Space Gaming and Thumbs. Me, the alien. Hey, whoa! My helmet broke. My desk rubbish. <laughs> so, I've done some changes. I've done some things. I got some ideas. That's almost morning. I'm not gonna go to sleep. I should probably bring some chest around here. Uh, restocked my farm. And I answered the age old question. A while ago, I was asking, it's like, do you need to go by the usual guides of the size of a. the size of a, a nether portal? Whew. And the answer is. No, you don't. Look at that. I built a bigger portal. So now it actually like fits in here. Like, properly better. And I went in it once. And it, it came back out here. I was happy about that. And then it came back out over there. And that's really, really annoying. Maybe if I adjust the size of the portal in the nether, maybe? I don't know, because I really like where my nether portal is situated, like in that fortress, so I really don't want to mess with that. But then building that dragon heat was a big waste of time if that's how that's going to work. But that's fine. The sheep is still in there. I might kill it. Is it better to put that sheep out as misery? Uh, subscribe if yes. Subscribe if no. <laughs> like if no, like if yes, you know the deal. <laughs> so, plans, plans. This this has went a couple of times because I've I've done a wee bit of work off camera, off recording. This has some dye in it, and it still has some bamboo in there. I actually ended up shortening this by like two cactus blocks I think because it was just too wide and the water was sitting still so it wasn't actually like flowing down into this tunnel system so I kind of had to fix that I'm really sick of endermen just sitting taking blocks and leaving them in random places hello it's okay, you can come after me. <laughs> so here. Oh yeah, I was like, what's that? But this is actually the way into, well, there's tunnels in there. But in this wee bit, I thought this wee bit was quite cool to keep. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Who knows? Oh, it could be my turtle den. No, 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 <laughs> no. We already have this. Which, by the way, I actually saw a, a turtle swimming over there the other day when I was doing stuff. But here, I'm going to build like a boat house. So that it's kind of like a dock. So that I have somewhere to put my boats when I go on little seafaring missions. Turtles along this way. I don't have any seagrass right now, so it's actually pretty pointless. But but I have seen turtles in this area. It's probably a way beneath. Hello, creeper. I don't see any turtles anywhere. That doesn't. There's a dolphin down there. Creeper, I don't have time for you. And I've rewritten down some of the coordinates. 
Oh my god, was it there the whole time? Am I just thick? And blind? Pig! I don't have any seagrass! Hey, turtle? Would you like to come with me? One day, I will have the seagrass to take you home. And... Oh god, I'm gonna need to build a bridge for this river. Hello, little buddy. I need to empty my hives. But I put up more hives. And it's full already. Look at, look at them. My hives are full. Oh, guys, you are working so hard. Oh, those ones aren't full. I must not have enough bees to, get, to take these ones in. So I have a lot more um hives. Like I think it was like four more that I placed, so we got that. I'm expanding my place. My whole life is getting expanded. Okay, so this whole bit, like over here, I have flattened this. There was only like a couple of layers on top of it, but I've flattened it. I've covered up all the holes that all the creepers and drowned zombies went into and fell into. Let's see here. Bow. Terrible bow that I had to get rid of yesterday. So I flattened it and right over here where well that sheep is actually I'm going to build like a train station. It's more like a railroad house because I'm going to build some rails coming from my place to all the way over here to my village. So, that's my plans. Who are you? A Fletcher? What is that? But nice. Guys, my village has gotten so many more people. Like, look at all these guys. These are probably the OG guys. And then they've just, they've just started breeding like rabbits, man. I need to build an, another wee house. Like, because this thing that about them is just terrible. <laughs> they don't even deserve to be called a house, really. But look, there's just so many more people. The last time I was here, there was a lot of, like, children and villagers farting around. I'm just, I'm just impressed at how many villagers this place has now. I need to build it more houses. So that obviously they all have places to sleep because I feel like there's a couple of them that don't have beds. But it's not my fault you are over here breeding. Like nobody's business. Like what am I supposed to do? Look, look at y'all getting to work. Look at that. It's so good. I'm proud of my workers. My worker ants of the place. Okay. So I don't know how how I'm gonna do it yet, but like I was thinking, I build my my rail house, and then like this is kind of like a gateway from there, and then like this entrance into the village. But I haven't quite worked out how I'm gonna do that. <laughs> I wish you could get like like a proper train system where I could have a rail coming this way and then you press the lever, it takes you in here or it keeps you going if you don't press the lever. That'd be cool. But we don't. So I'm gonna need to just suffice with what we have. <laughs> I feel like it looks really nice now that it's all flattened. Keep it leads on people. I don't think you can, otherwise it'd be so much easier trying to get people back to your village, wouldn't it? Good thinking. <laughs> well done, me. <gasps> There's a villager! There's a villager! Yeah, we have got two golden apples. Might as well. Might as well. 
Make all the glass bottles I can. I probably shouldn't have made that many, right? You probably don't need that much. Splash potion. Weakness. Got it. Oh yeah. More storage. Okay, now's the time. This is gonna be daytime. No, it's not. Uh oh, he had tried them. Uh oh, he had tried them. Oh wow! Hey, screw you, sucker! Did you give me a trident? Nice. I don't see my fox. Where's my fox? Fox! How? I've not been away at all. Ah! How did? I don't. I didn't get to see my. But wait. I'm not ready to go sleep. I don't want to go sleep. I got plans. <sighs> Freck off. Freck off. Go away. Stupid fan. Where is my fox? Hello? Hello? Okay, I'm getting... Oh. I was worried. I saw my fox. I saw Mr. Fox. Oh, fucker. Do foxes, um. Oh, fuck! Stupid skeleton, man! <laughs> Do you, man? Oh, yeah, I got membrane. Attack the, attack the creeper. Apparently, that does stuff. Like, if a skeleton. Oh, fuck! Ah! I got the fright of my life, man. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You cost me a creeper head or something. I don't know. I don't know what anything does. Bye, Zom. I'm just gonna run. Okay. We're can. We're fine. <laughs> okay. Are you dying yet? Ha ha! Screw you! Is the zombie villager? The zombie villager got die, ain't he? Oh no, there he's there! Oh <gasps> yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. That's fine. We still have time. I don't know how I'm gonna get him to a safe space though. Well, if I put this here and then. Does that look okay? Yeah, that looks fine, guys. Thank you. <laughs> oh no, wait, 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 wait. Let's see if this works. It does! Look! I'm getting out of the bottle of water! Look at that! Look at this! Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. And how do I make fermented spider eye again? Mushroom and sugar, because that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> okay, so mushroom. I don't have mushrooms. Is this not really something I carry? Wait, I've been totally distracted from my main job. <laughs> and I'm fucking Bowden. Because realistically. I don't have a place to put the villager right now. So that is kind of just a waste of my time. And your time. Uh, everyone's time. But at least I have organized everything. And my potions place. I think that's the main thing that we get out of this for now. Oh look, he did, there he's there. Don't you wake up, little bat friend. Hey! Hey! Hey, Mr. Zombie! You're gonna be my friend! I'm gonna help cure you! <coughs> Sorry, I was just thinking about where I'm gonna put my... ...railway system from here. I was thinking about that end, and I mean, thought about this end. Maybe I could do it, like... <coughs> like, build something 
here in the middle of the water and then just do it like a straight run. I'm going to do it from inside that big tree and kind of measure it for there. See, it's coming from up this way. See, it's not exact. Like, I could turn a right here. Now, you'd probably be better off turning the right there. Unless I brought this back. Which, to be honest, I probably should have done. But I like having this wee forest. It's cute. It's a cute little forest. So, I don't, I don't know how I'm going to do this. Like, put two gates here. So they can't get a fence down here. Oh, no. Are you going to get stuck in there? No, okay. Right, yeah, good. Get out. <laughs> so, like, I'm probably going to just... Let's, let's be honest. I'm going to go with your average square. <laughs> I'm not creative with building. How do you even... Like, how do people get ideas on how to build for Minecraft? Like, genuinely, some people are so creative when it comes to building things. I'm going to bring a bed over here. <clears throat> I just don't get it. I'm like, I don't know. I don't get it. How, how do you make your ideas come to life in Minecraft? Because I got ideas and stuff to build, but I don't know how to uh, execute them. Okay. Sleep damp. Sleepy, sleepy damp. Hurry up and wake up. <clears throat> I wasn't even asleep and I'm like, wake up. There's the door. <laughs> <clears throat> yes, please get out. Stay out! Nope, that is not the entrance. No, it needs to be wider, troops. It needs to be wider. I'm gonna need more wood, don't I? <laughs> At least there's a couple of trees here that I could cut down. Okay, platform one. <laughs> Oh yeah, I gotta put my bed down. Haha. <laughs> Losers. Back to work! <laughs> I feel like this is just gonna look like every single other one of my builds. But then it's just nice to do some wood diversity, isn't it? <laughs> I feel like I should not. Go back, go back, go back. I was just going to build a crafting bench there. Because I need to... I need the half slabs. And I need glass. For Windows. For Windows 10. I need more than 10. I'm kidding, I think I only, I only need a couple of them. I just got to put like a couple of windows in. Windows in. So you can see inside and wave to the train conductor. And be like, hello. <laughs> stairs. I'm missing stairs. Okay. Have one of you's got a workbench in there? Because I just, I just can't deal with this. Anyone? Workbench? Hello? Hello, friend. Workbench. Anyone? Is there a workbench in here? Do you have workbench? Don't laugh at my face! Aha! Uh -huh. oh, it's a chest! You're lucky. You're lucky I need you. You're lucky I like having villagers. <laughs> so is that a no on crafting benches, people? Why is there a tree randomly in the middle? You people don't organize. Mm. Yeah, exactly, Mr. Kerr. Scaly. Ah! Hey! Ah! Ah! Ha ha! Bastard ye! Ow! <laughs> ah! I have s oh. <laughs> oh, they're gonna fat. You watch my sugar cane.
Who's gonna win? Subscribe for Skeleton. Like for a uh, drowned. Ah, oh, Skeleton won! <laughs> Never mind. Subscribe then, the Skeleton one. <laughs> that was cool. I'm gonna regret this. Ah! Two creepers. Two creepers! <coughs> I don't have doors on that place yet. It's practically a death hole. <laughs> Boom. That's how you. Oh, no mind. <laughs> That's how you life hack. <coughs> oh. How does that look? Hey, that looks okay. I feel it's, it's, it could be a lot worse. It could look like garbage. <laughs> oh. That's gonna get annoying <laughs> very quickly. I think I'm gonna need to put a workbench in there with you folk. Oh. Chicken! Fuck! I'm sick of myself. I mean, whenever anything. anything, I could. I genuinely mean, whenever anything happens, my first response is aliens. And. probably that is honestly true. I don't think aliens are gonna. Not be the end of this, but let's just say I want aliens to be a thing. Like, could maybe know the, know the film aliens, because that kind of alien can take two Francis to itself. You know? Take two fucks to itself, basically. And <laughs> but <clears throat> I genuinely, like, if I see anything in the sky, anything, and I'm like, I know it's an airplane, but I'm like, oh. It's an alien. Actually, let me tell you this really annoying story. <laughs> About my friend, who's not the same friend that thought that... Uh, that thought Kurt Russell was in the original thing. It's not the same one, trust me. I wouldn't be their friend if it was. <laughs> I'm kidding. But uh, like, I'm gonna... Disclaimer. I am by no means like a a rocket scientist or a, any type of scientist, and like astronomy or anything like that. But I was I was at a friend's house before all of this began, all of this corona. You know when you could actually go to people's houses, go to your pals, your friend's house, and you could actually have a nice time. But there was this one time I was at my friend's house. And I'm I'm not gonna say names. So me and friend number one and two. <laughs> and so this friend one and friend two. Friend one is the one who's on my side, and friend two is the ah is <laughs> the poop. Okay. Well, not a poop, but just just let me tell you. As I said, disclaimer: not a rocket scientist. I don't know much about this space. But, like, so me and friend one, we seen this thing in the sky, right? And it was like it was night time. I don't know what time, but it was night time, night time. And uh, it was like a blinking light, and she said she'd seen that before, like the exact same spot the night before. And like, obviously. I wasn't there, so I never saw nothing. So obviously, I was like, "Oh, did you? Yes, aliens." <laughs> like genuinely. <laughs> and um, damn it! Oh yeah. And um, so we we're sitting looking at this thing in the sky, and friend two comes over. Friend two comes over. And like, I, I, I know the difference between, like, granted, I, I, sometimes I do clutch at straws and I'm like, oh, it's an alien, when really it is just an aeroplane. But, like, he says it's an aeroplane, right? And I was like, like, I, d I didn't pure, like, just wave him off at that because... It could have been, right? I didn't really see it. 
distance, so it was a distance away. I don't have binoculars. I'm not. A, I don't know something with great eyesight. <laughs> and, uh, his his view changed, and I was like, Nah, man, this that's not. You know, just just carrying on with him, being like, Nah, it's aliens, bro. And this fool turns to me and says, Oh, it's the sun. Like, our, no, our sun, I think. I, I don't think he says it was our sun. I think he said that it was our sun. Like, like you, don't, you, you, don't, you don't need to know a lot of it's space for me to be your pet. Like, I don't care. But telling me that a blinking light in our... F in our soul, in our atmosphere, our atmosphere, like you could see it moving. It was on this planet, and he's like, "It's a sun." Oh no, what was it? That isn't what happened at all. I'm a big liar, pants. I don't, I don't, I don't remember exactly what he said. Right, but he just he said it was a star or a sun, and then. I said something along the lines of, a. Uh, nah, I. It was a while ago now, so I don't remember like all of the conversation. But basically, he's trying to say that there's something that a star, a sun, is in our atmosphere. And then we went onto the subject, and I was like, oh, a. Uh, like when you see a star flickering, and this is just from, from what I've learned. This is what I've been told. So if I'm wrong, then well, so is wherever I learned this from. <laughs> <coughs> but <clears throat> from what I have learned, I've been told that stars flicker in the sky because they are stars with their own planets. A uh, a uh, rotating around them, like that's why they flicker because it's, it's a planet going around it. So ever since then, that has been like my go-to piece of knowledge. <laughs> like, oh, this planet's gonna ruin that, blah blah blah, you know. <clears throat> and then this fool comes around. I deserve that laugh for my axe breaking. This, this, my pal, friend number two, turns around to me and he's like yeah he was like are you are you trying to tell me that every sun has its own like set of planets kind of thing and i was like yeah man that's exactly what i'm trying to tell you you know like thinking oh he's intrigued and he's like nah no suns are planets too and i mean I, i've smacked myself in the face for that one i should have been smacking him but i smacked myself in the face I was like, man, do you really think that those suns out there are just like floating around? Like, maybe there are, maybe there are. Don't get me wrong, but just it's just the fact that like he knows he he told me himself that he he doesn't look up anything to do with space. Therefore, saying he doesn't know anything. I'm not saying I know everything about anything. Because I know very little about a lot. <laughs> but I've been very enthusiastic about space my entire life. Not being smart enough to understand <laughs> half the stuff that goes on up there. But he's trying to tell me that he thinks there's just, they're just sun and stars in space just floating around like they're like and then that means he thinks that planets are just floating around like just f floating around in space just planets being there which to be honest i have heard like a, a massive ufologist uh, well i am a ufologist <laughs> Like, I've watched a lot of documentaries, and I've heard that there actually is, like, a, a 
pla like planets, there's floating about space, but it's not so much that they're like floating around space. It's well, I suppose they are. Like they're not gravitationally pulled around a sun. Like they don't have a sun. So I don't know how that stuff works. It's just the fact that he was trying to be all like, oh yeah, I know more than you. And I'm like, man, you don't know fucking anything. And I was like, man, you wouldn't know if your ass was on fire if you didn't feel it, man. Like, honestly. But. Like, we're good pals, good pals. But. He's an idiot sometimes. I mean, I'm, I'm an idiot. A lot. Well, he's an idiot. A lot. <laughs> you know what? I just wanted to get that wee rant out because, well, I love space and everything that comes with it, even its arguments. You try to tell me space is empty, like without intelligent life, except for us, because we are fucking intelligent, then I will argue that. I will have a nice wee debate about that with you for a while. Okay? Bring on the debates! Is there life out there? Subscribe if you think yes. Subscribe if you think no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, hello, tree. But, I'm actually, I'm gonna leave it here. Because I don't know what I'm doing with this. <sighs> what a day. I'll get my, uh... My train station fixed. I will have a railroad. Wherever you are. I hope I hope you're genuinely staying safe and clean and not licking things you're not supposed to be. <laughs> and uh, just staying inside, man. Stay home. Hashtag stay home. Who are you staying home for? I'm staying home for my mum and dad. And because I'm lazy. <laughs> but I do. I hope you're having a good one. I hope you're... Trying to make the most out of out of a kind of weird situation. Like I saw this thing and it was like, how why not try and learn something or make a new, have a learn a new skill or something like during these weird times? And I thought, you know what? I, like turn them on, and I was like, you wanted to learn Russian a couple of years ago. Now is your time, thumbs. <laughs> Turn them on, and I was like, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is there any apps? Scrolling, I was like, Yeah, man, there's free <laughs> Russian apps. Downloaded one, and I'm now learning Russian. So you could do something. You know, learn a language. I don't know, learn how to knit, learn how to sew, do some jigsaw puzzles. I don't know. <laughs> Just try and make the best there. So, for the last time today, I'm gonna do my usual. Until next time, I guess. Thumbs is out of here. But then I'm also going to say dos svidanya, which is goodbye in Russian. So, dos svidanya. It's probably not pronounced well at all. But I'm trying. I've been doing it for two days. Give me a break! See you there, guys. Until next time. Thumbs is out of here.